Hello. Welcome to Card Mind. Thank you for stopping by. And this is going to be a Cancer Weekly Money and Career Reading from July 2nd to the 9th, 2023. Cancers, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week, July 2nd to the 9th. 2023 for the sign of cancers welcome thank you to each and everyone for watching for sharing your journeys sharing your energies thank you um if, if you noticed maybe not you cancers but some of my uh videos some of my uh last uploads from last week um, uh, had disabled comments. It is not me. It is, it is YouTube. I don't know if it's a bug or something like that. So I'm trying to work on it, trying to figure it out or trying to get answers. But so hopefully everything gets repaired and we're all okay. So please comment, share your journeys, um, cancers. All right, here we go. There you are, Cancers. Four of Wands, pushing forward. I like this. What are you celebrating, Cancers? This is something you're excited about? You wanna share? Celebrating with your family, with your friends, or being in the right place and just happy to be moving forward on something. Or, or maybe you made a decision, right, with the chariot. Maybe this is time now you're not looking back. You're moving forward. You know this is for you. You know this is going to happen. Maybe you're starting a new project. Maybe you're starting a new business, right? Um, you're motivated. You're ultra, ultra motivated. Oh, wow. Okay. And you are changing, moving into a complete new energy. Are you changing careers? Wow. These, these energies, these readings are so passionate this week. And I shuffle all these cards. I just read for Taurus, and it, this is a little similar. I have to, I mean, the, the cards, and I have been shuffling for 10 minutes. Um, maybe you have Taurus in your, in your placement. I don't know. Um, yes, moving forward on, mm, I feel like you're determined to get out of this, this sort of stuck situation or you're determined to move forward into a new passion letting everything go this is a new cycle ten of swords let it go you know you're entering something new uh cancers this is this has been a while and um this i don't know i keep going back to this chariot all while having the death right next to it but you're so ambitious this is very energetic energetic to take on a leadership role or energetic to find a more balanced life or energetic to or determined to push forward in that passionate new endeavor new goal new idea you have you're mastering you know you're you're master at this and you just want to succeed and I think that uh, for whatever reason, in a good way, your, your, your confidence is boosted. And I, I think you're ready to, move, to a move into a next chapter. And the death, death card is all about letting go, moving on to something else, understanding that this is a new cycle, Ten of Swords, Letting go of the past triggers, situations, um, healing, healing those emotions that have been so difficult. Um, I like that you're, yeah, you're going to have to make a choice, have to make a decision. You're sort of, you know you have to make a decision, but it's right there. You have the Empress. You're creating. You're creating new, and you are jumping forward into this new found creativity, growth with the um, 
with the Empress here. I mean, you know that this is something that is for you. You, you just have like a very creative spirit right now, Cancers. And so this is a beautiful period of growth and, and excitement on a new project. You, you know, it, it's just your, your ideas are very fertile, right? You're, you're very creative. And I feel like your communication towards others is opening up and that is you know the true understanding of the empress that she's there for others she's all about empathy beauty uh but also creativity you could be helping others as well ten of cups yeah you all you want is harmony i keep getting this ten of cups i think that Everyone is looking forward to balance and harmony and, and, you know, and just being able to chill for one second. And I realize, I realize with these readings how difficult these past couple of years, well, I don't need the cards to know that, but, but it's, it's reflecting week after week, everyone navigating these new energies trying to understand trying to change things try to figure things out try to be creative try to move on to different chapters uh go find creativity somewhere else or develop a new career or start your own business right it's it's all about that look at this one two three four five major arcana pushing forward action forward changing changing ever so changing but creatively this is a passion of yours, or you're letting go a certain circumstance, job, energy that you no longer want between the devil and the death. You're really like wanting to get out of that, get out of that situation. And um, you're celebrating that. I like that. You're celebrating, maybe celebrating working with new people, working with a new team. And understanding that this could be cool. This could be cool. It's almost like a sudden um, sudden decision. Um, with this Eight of Wands, sudden back and forth messages, um, sudden action forward. Maybe you're decide. Well, you have to decide here with the Two of Swords, right? You're sort of um, at a crossroads. So there's a major decision there, but I feel like it's opening up. It's big. It's something more important for you. It feels like you are rising up to something completely different. Um, but that makes more sense to you with the right people. And you're comfortable with that. It's a complete transformation, but you're okay with that because that's bringing back balance. And you're sort of, you know, cutting ties with the past cycle, with the past situation, whatever it is, job, business, whatever it is. It is, you, 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 you clearly have to make a choice. But you have the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups, which just tells me that you're, you're okay with this choice. You're cool with this choice. Is it easy? Probably not. But, but you're okay because you're really at the end of a cycle and you feel that, Cancers. Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. Um, I'm hoping that the comments are open and, and, you know, not disabled. If they are, it is not me. All right, that's the whole idea of this channel is to share, to care, to share stories, share energies, and also maybe be there for others, help each other, motivate each other, uh, right? And so there's absolutely no reason for me to shut off the comments. That's the whole idea here, to have a platform, right? A very positive platform. All right, here we go. Cancer, 
Weekly Money and Career, July 2nd to the 9th, 2023. A repeat of the judgment. Yes, it's important. It's important. But you're, this is something so much bigger than you. So much more important. And you're, you're indecisive. So it's taking a minute, right, with the moon. But I think you're still waiting for answers. You're not quite sure. Or you want to make sure you trust the situation that you trust the group of people or the dynamic or, you know, the company, the team, whatever it is. And, you know, the moon is all about mm, the, the, yes, the confusion, right? And, and sort of um, influences that, you know, you're, you're sort of attached to certain ways attached to a certain routine maybe or a certain job or a certain place you're living in right and and so that is a, giving you a bit of confusion but um and you're waiting for some answer i don't know what it is so maybe you're waiting for an answer on a job maybe you're waiting for an answer on uh you know um uh, on finances on a loan or answer from you know um information to to move on to something else or you're not quite clear yourself on what you're going to do with this two of swords right but there is a decision to be made you're sort of stuck for now but you're at the end so here but but and then you have the ten of cups so and the three of cups so i think that you're okay pushing forward maybe you know but you're for now you're a bit confused different options not quite sure weighing on your options king of pentacles that keeps coming up hmm interesting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This King of Pentacles keeps coming up. But I feel like this is the energy of success. Wanting money. Wanting money to come in and, and develop a, a business. Develop an idea and being su successful in that idea. So maybe, maybe you're waiting for answers to work on a project maybe you're waiting for answers to work on a family business with this uh four of wands something like that it doesn't have to be family business but you're you're celebrating something here and so i feel like at one point you will get the answers but you feel like there are different options and they're not all that great or you cannot trust everybody or you cannot trust every option there. So make sure you fact check, back check, whatever it is that you're waiting for, right? Um, so you can start to see clear on your objective, whatever it is, whether it's waiting for an answer on a job, on a, you know, on a financial situation or family situation or, you know, whatever it is. Um, it feels like this King of Pentacles, um, yeah, it's all about money these days. It's all about money to start something new, to rebuild the life somewhere, or to rebuild the business, or, you know, to shift careers, or to start, develop that idea, whatever it is. Okay, um, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Seven of Pentacles. And, sorry, Two of Wands opening up. I like that. So you're preparing something. You're preparing to travel or to move or, you know, maybe you're starting. Um, it's something you've been working on, right, with the Seven of Pentacles. You've invested money. You've invested time. You've been waiting, waiting on a return, return of money, or, or, or again, waiting for answers on something you've worked 
hard for. I feel like you are going to reap the fruits of your labor. You are going to start something new. Here we have the Ace of Wands, absolutely beautiful. Seven of Wands. But with this Two of Wands, you're, you, you are, you're expanding. It's progress in your career or, or a new job opening, right? With this, um, this Ace of Wands. Are you starting a new job? It feels like it's new with all these major arcana here, right? It feels like it's new. Um, and it's Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, and, and the Strength card. So whatever it is you're working on, whatever it is that you have been working on that's new, you're trying to let go, it feels like a new chapter, you're building a new business, or you're moving on to something else, it feels like you're moving on to something else, but it, you know, it's, it's, it's challenging and there might be a lot of competition, a lot of people working on this. Maybe you're, maybe you're challenge, maybe you're competing to get a job. Maybe you're competing to work on that team. Maybe you're competing to get that position in another country, city, whatever, maybe, right? It feels like a lot of competition and it feels like, uh, this is a challenging job with a lot of responsibilities and but because you have the strength card so but it's it's something you have been waiting for or something you were waiting for on answers you were waiting for right and so uh, maybe yes you applied for this position or applied for this school or you're right you're getting answers here it feels like you're getting answers and you have everything you need to um, make this happen or to work on this because you have the the strength so the strength is usually there when there are obstacles when it's not you know and, well but nothing is linear and nothing i don't think anything is uh, easy these days. Um, it's hard to be fluid these days, right? So it just feels like you, you have self-control. You're mastering the situation. You sort of are following your instincts. You know what to do. You know what decisions to make. And um, I think that you, you're pushing towards your convictions. You're pushing towards your goals, and um, I think that you're you're surpassing any goal. You have like this courage that no matter what, you're gonna make this happen. No matter what, you got this. Even if it's hard, you got this. And the, your your momentum is just growing and growing, right? Your your power is growing and growing, and that you are going to be successful. Make this happen, no matter what even if they're obstacles or even if people are questioning you or even if um, it's not exactly the way you thought it would be or not exactly in the place you thought it would be or something like that. No matter what the obstacles are, you have victory over this and you're going to make it happen. Beautiful, beautiful energies, uh, Cancers. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for commenting, sharing, um, sharing your journeys, your energies. That is how I find my energies to move forward on these readings. So thank you. Thank you to each and every one from the bottom of my heart, Cancers. You have been amazing. So thank you. Are also, uh, again, if the comments are disabled, I apologize. Well, I don't even know why I'm apologizing because it is not from my resort. So I, you know, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a bug or something like that. So uh, hopefully it'll be repaired before this uh, video is uploaded. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, Cancers. Take care. Bye-bye.